What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that I kind of covered last week, but I got something different. So I told you guys last week how I needed to protect the Z for the winter time, and I bought a car shelter. The car shelter that I picked up was kind of on the cheap side, um, and it was kind of dinky and flimsy when I put it up and installed it. So I figured, okay, if I'm going to be trying to protect the Z, the last thing that I would want is for that car cover to come down and crash the Z, which is kind of counterproductive. So what I did instead is I returned the whole thing, unpacked it, returned it back to the store that I bought it from, and I purchased a different one. Now this new one that I have right here is uh, a quite good one, and from what I heard, a lot of people in Quebec use these things. Now the reason why I chose something like that is because Quebec gets hammered with snow, way more than what we get here. So they'll get snow that is literally higher than houses. That's of course after they plowed and everything. But what I'm going to be doing is bringing the Z inside of the car shelter and I'm going to be leaving it there over the course of the winter. So I'm going to be pulling it in and out, keeping the fluids running and everything, but I want to have it so that it's at least covered for the winter time. I don't want to get it beat with snow. I don't want to keep scraping it every single day after it snows. So what I did is I purchased a Tempo car shelter and this thing definitely impressed me. So when it came to actually installing this thing and setting it up, it was kind of, uh, I was kind of on my own for this. So I didn't really have good instructions to help me buy. So the instructions were mainly in French. I do speak French, um, but it was also in English. But even the pictures, the description, you know, how everything works was kind of um, not existent. So I kind of had to play around with it. I had to zip tie a couple things, but overall I'm quite impressed with the build of this thing. So the metal that is used for this thing is a lot stronger and it's different than the old shelter that I purchased before. So all of the metal that you see in here is all galvanized steel. So this basically is rust proof. So what I'm going to be doing is having all this set up outside and it's not going to be an issue. The old steel that I had for the old car shelter was bare steel and the outside was powder coated. Now when I was putting everything back together, you could kind of see on the inside of each one of the pipes that there was surface rust starting. So I figured if it's going to be outside in the snow, in the humidity, basically just outside, that wouldn't exactly last a long time. So that's why I purchased this one. This here has a pretty nice heavy duty tarp. Um, it isn't weighed down yet, but I am going to have to figure out some sort of way to keep this planted. Um, I've been thinking I want to put some two by sixes from the front all the way to the back and connect it from the back side to the other side and then all the way to the front. Now the reason why I want to do that is because I could actually bolt each one of these pieces here down onto the two by six that connects to the ground. So it's not going to be bolted necessarily to anything, but once I have the Z in here, what I can do is then at that point attach either some straps or something around the tires. Let's say this to the rear tire and then maybe another one up here for the front tire. So it's not really going to move even if it's super windy. Um, I'm kind of playing around with that idea. If you guys have any other recommendations for that matter, if you guys have something like this, let me know. I can't exactly bolt it or drill into each one of these interlocking bricks. My parents will kill me, so that's not exactly an option. But what I do think is sick is the build quality of all this steel. So all the metal that was used for this is a lot thicker gauge. So it was a larger, thicker pipe. So what I can actually do with this thing is actually hang from the top. And I want to show you how strong this thing is. So there are bars on the front side, on the back side that go from side to side, and there's other smaller ones on the top to give it some extra bracing. Now what's sick is that you can fully suspend your weight from here and it's not going to collapse. Ugh. So I mean, at that point, this thing isn't really going to be going anywhere. You can see it's not a flimsy unit and it's going to be protecting the Z over the course of the winter. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out some way to bolt it down, but I mean, as for the install, it's all done, it's up. I basically spent all of yesterday doing this. Um, there's also a door right here on the front side, and there's another one on the back side. The back one, I zip tied completely shut, so I wouldn't ever have to worry about opening it or closing it, because I'm not going to be opening the back side of the, the shelter. But for the front side, I'm going to be opening it and closing it, and it does come with some hog rings up top, and there's some other like bungee kind of things that hold the doors closed on each end. I don't know, I might change something up um, for the doors. I might just leave this thing open. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. But as for the shelter, it's up. It's super sturdy and I'm quite impressed with this thing. Now this shelter, let's talk about money. This shelter costs a little bit more than the other one. So this one costs about 450 bucks for the whole thing after taxes. So I mean, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but if you compare this to the other one, you're basically getting what you're paying for. So the other flimsier one, yes, you aren't spending as much money, but once you put it up, you're not exactly going to be satisfied. This here, I think, is a quite heavy duty unit, and well, I guess time will tell to see if this thing will actually hold, uh, hold its shape, keep the Z protected, and you know, keep all the elements outside. But the install's done, 
I'm happy with it. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated to let you guys know what I bought. So the packaging that all this stuff came in was more than two times bigger than the old box. So not only did I only have one box that I could fit in a small car when I purchased it from Canadian Tire, but in this new setup, it came in two boxes and both of them were bigger. So I couldn't even bring them inside my Accord Coupe. I had to use my dad's pickup truck to go pick all this stuff up. Um, but again, this is a, a French kit. This stuff is made and designed all in Quebec, in Laval. So what's sick about this thing is that it's gonna be bulletproof. I hopefully am not gonna have any problems with this thing over the course of the winter. Comes with a nice window up front, but I'm gonna pull the Z inside to show you guys that it'll fit. So I'm not sure if you guys saw the previous video regarding the old car shelter, but this new one has so much more space compared to the old one. So you can see we've got basically three bricks on this side and three bricks on this side of extra space. Now the whole front door is gonna close on it and we're gonna have a little bit of space. I probably can move it back a little bit. Let's see how much room I have on the back side. A good brick and a half. So I mean, there's plenty of space inside this unit to throw your car. Now they also have larger units that you guys can choose from and install should you guys wanna protect your car over the course of the winter. I won't be keeping these wheels on the Z during the winter, so what I'm gonna be doing is throwing the stock wheels back on here, and then what I might do to secure this to the car without it moving is probably run some strap around that peg there and then keep it attached to this tire or keep it around it. So at that point, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere, and I'll do the same thing for the backside. So the shelter is up, but it isn't exactly completed yet. I first need to go and figure out what I'm gonna be doing to support this and bolt this thing down to the ground. So I'll probably be looking at getting about 44 feet of two by six to go to do one side, to do the back side, and the other side. So at that point, I can bolt it right to it. If you guys have any other suggestions you know, on how I can bolt this thing to the ground, let me know, I'm all ears. Um, if you guys wanna pick one of these things up, I'll see if I can include some more information in the description box. These are from a company called a Briss Tempo. They're very heavy duty, really nice quality car shelters. They have them available in like little single domes like this that are able to fit one car and they also have other ones that are able to fit multiple vehicles. If you guys have any other questions for that matter, comment sections down there. You guys know what to do by now. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.